There are several ways to make mega menus in Rehub theme. You can build them with standard menu items of WordPress or you can use Elementor or other page builders to make own custom menu styles. In this video, we will show you all possible ways. If you miss something, you can go back to our documentation and find all required information about Mega Menu. We will start from most simple multi-column menu. First of all, enable CSS style option in screen options. Then, add second level of menu. Second level will be used for titles. You can use custom link object, but add special symbol instead of link. Third level of menu will be our menu items. Now, the most important part. You must add special class to our first level menu item. You can copy this class from our documentation. Then, save menu and check on your site. Now, let's make another type of mega menu. We call it as vertical mega menu. This type of menu has four levels. Second level will be drop down and third and fourth levels will be visible as sliding panel. You must add special vertical menu class to first level for this menu which you can copy from documentation. There are several different styles which you can add to first item to add additional formatting. For example, you can add background color, text color, bold font weight. You can also make this menu as always opened on your homepage. You must copy all classes to first level item and divide them by spaces. There are also some classes which you can add to child items of menu to add some formatting. For example, you can make item with bolder font weight or you can add border under item. This can be helpful if you need to show one of item as subheading. You can also add some labels to menu item. Just copy code from documentation and insert it before title. The same will work also for icons which you can get on Fontasome site. Also, you can use emoji elements in menu titles.
If you don't have activated Elementor plugin, you can download and install it from WordPress repository. Once you activate plugin, go to templates and add new template. Add several columns and start adding elements. Mostly, you will need to use heading element, icon lists and images. Each element can be customized and you can choose another topography, sizes, line heights, colors, margins and other options. To remove icons from icon list, just choose any icon and then remove it. You can always copy whole column with content to other column. For this, click on column icon, then make right click and choose duplicate option. When you finish your template, publish it, then open page with template and edit it. You will find that each your saved template has special shortcode and we can use this shortcode in your menus. For this, create menu item. Make sure that you enabled CSS classes in screen options and copy special class from our documentation to item class. Now, create child menu item which will be container for our shortcode. We will use custom link object for this. Very important to type word shortcode with big letters instead your link. You can add any title for this item. Then, enable description field in screen options and insert shortcode of Elementor's template in description. Now, go back to your template, because we want to add some tweaks. For example, we can add more spaces between each columns and we can add background to our block. Background can be simple, gradient or even video or image. Now, we need to change also text color to match it to background. We can show you also some cool feature for images with alpha channel. You can move them outside your block for more interesting effect. For this, go to advanced tab of image and enable absolute position for image, then add offset.
Absolute positioned elements are working independently from other elements, so, you can place them in the same column with other elements. You can add even more epic effect because each element has motion effect settings. But just make sure that you added also some animation delay, because our menu already has some transition time. The last thing which you should do with your menu is fixing tablet view. That's because all columns in Elementor are still visible as one line in tablet view, but this has wrong view in our mobile menu because there is no space to show whole line. So, you must enable 100% width for tablet view in your column settings. For this, enable tablet view and type 100% width in options of each column. You can use Elementor templates also for vertical mega menu. For this, add shortcode as third level item. For the first look it looks broken. It's because width of each column in vertical menu is not enough to show whole block. But we can adjust it. Add special class to parent item and this will make its inner width more bigger and enough to show your block. And the last cool feature which we want to give you as bonus. Go to our blog and find article about conditional shortcodes. Now, you can create different templates for each user role, member types or other conditions and use them to show different menus for different users.